Today we're going to cover high intensity interval training. You've probably heard of high intensity interval training because it's been used in a lot of programs these days for fat loss. Because smart trainers know that it works a lot better than slow, boring cardio. You get results faster in much shorter workouts and you actually get results as compared to some of these cardio workouts that aren't getting you any results at all. So high intensity interval training means any type of sprint exercise that lasts from about 0 to 90 seconds. Anything longer than about two minutes can get into what's called aerobic interval training. So generally the high intensity interval training sessions are about 90 seconds or less. So usually even about 15 to 30 or even 45 seconds. And that just means that you sprint for that designated period of time and then you go down to a very easy period of exercise. And that's one of the big mistakes that most people make is that when they're doing their interval training, they don't drop the intensity down low enough during the recovery period. If you are running at 10 miles per hour for your interval and you drop it down to only 8 miles per hour, then you're really just still doing cardio. You're not doing high intensity interval training because that will not allow you to recover and you won't be able to sprint hard again at 10 miles per hour. So make sure you go from hard to easy. That means from going from a sprint to a walk. It's okay to walk in interval training. That's the whole purpose is so that you can work really hard. So I'm going to show you. We're going to start with our warm up obviously. And then we're going to get into our first high intensity interval training. So after I'm fully warmed up, doing our regular specific 5 or 10 minute warm up, then we'll go into our high intensity interval training. So now I'm sprinting. This is a pace I can maintain for 30 to 45 seconds. I'll do my interval after 45 seconds. I'll take it all the way down to a very low recovery pace. So all the way down to three and a half miles per hour on the treadmill, make sure that you're walking. So it doesn't matter if you run your intervals at eight miles per hour, 10, or even 12, you have to come down to this walking pace. That's one interval. You'll do about six intervals in a workout and then finish with a cool down. And that's high intensity interval training. It's gonna get you more results in terms of your fat loss program, also in sports specific conditioning, and it's also going to make you fitter for everyday activities.